Okay, so in this video, I want to explain why I am upgrading from a 2020 MacBook Air M1 with 8 gigabytes of RAM to a new MacBook M3 Max with 36 gigabytes of RAM. My old MacBook had 256 gigabytes of SSD storage and the new M3 Max has one terabyte of SSD storage on it. I have a few notes here which I want to go through because I structured the video a little bit for you to understand why I am upgrading to the newer MacBook model and why you should maybe do it as well or what the reasons are why I'm doing this. So the first point is I want to travel productively. And this means that I am producing more videos while traveling. So when you are coming from my German audience, you know I usually only did German videos for about 10 years. And now I'm switching to English because I need to get my English better on point and I want to travel a little bit more and open the whole world with my content for myself. It's just a personal preference and I want to try it out at the moment. So when traveling and recording videos, I am going to do it here on the Osmo Pocket Tree and I want to be able to edit the videos really fast. This fact alone will probably and hopefully be a big booster for myself to produce more videos because the cutting process on the new MacBook will be faster and more reliable. The next point which is really important is the emotional and motivational value that a new piece of equipment brings. So right now I'm recording this video on the A7 IV. I recently bought the Osmo Pocket 3 to be able to vlog more and to take it with me and it's just super compact and I made more videos because of this little camera. This is a huge motivational bonus because using your stuff for a certain time as a creator you maybe lose a little bit of inspiration and a little bit of motivation and therefore you might feel some kind of resentment towards your equipment and then it could happen what happened to me sometimes like more often than i want to admit but i sometimes get blocks like blockades where i do not want or cannot motivate myself to produce content because I have some issues with anything. Might be my laptop, might be, but might be by my camera, might be the environment that I'm in, might be everything. And my job as a creator, as an artist, is to eliminate those blockades. And with my old laptop, I had a huge problem which came up like six six months ago when I was rendering videos the video sometimes at the end every time got artifacts in them that means when I render a video and upload it to YouTube in certain points in the video and like in, in a 20 minute video two or three times there were some artifacts in the image where there was only a noisy image where you c couldn't see the proper image. And every time I rendered the video, the video, it appeared on another section of the video. So it was not foreseeable at all and I couldn't fix it. And maybe I could have fixed it if I would have reset it, the old MacBook, but I didn't want to do that. And therefore I got issues with the old one so I couldn't work with it anymore 
and I rendered all of my past videos in the six months on my desktop computer. That means I didn't work outside. I didn't work in cafes. I wasn't traveling and working. So this causes friction in the production of new videos, which I need to do as a content creator, as an artist. So that's the emotional and motivational value. So I'm hoping that the new MacBook will motivate me to produce more content in the future. Technically, why am I, why am I upgrading? So the M1 MacBook Air base model with 8 gigabytes is more than enough to cut this kind of video where I do a talking head video without many cuts, a little bit of cuts here and there, a lot over it, maybe some text overlay or little edits, but nothing too special. The MacBook Air was perfectly fine with cutting those videos, editing those videos, everything, until it started to produce those artifacts. The new MacBook Pro does have a better screen. The first time I turned it on, I saw the difference immediately. It has much better blacks. It has much higher brightness. And when I'm traveling, I will work in the sun a lot. So I, I will be traveling to Egypt for two weeks now and I will work in the sun a lot. So the new MacBook Pro will have the better screen for that. I would maybe, maybe, maybe be able to do it on the MacBook Air, but it will be much more convenient to do on the MacBook Pro. But this is not limited to the MacBook Pro M3 Max. It will be the same basically on every MacBook Pro entry-level laptop. The next thing is that the screen has better colors. So maybe I will be able to color grade my footage a little bit better. For videos, I don't do a lot of grading, to be honest. For photos and Lightroom work, yeah, of course, the new screen will produce better outcomes. And what's cool about the MacBook Pro, not specifically this one, but it has an SD card slot shouldn't see myself here. There it is. The SD card slot and a HDMI slot, which is really convenient. I didn't have that on the MacBook Air. I only had two USB-C ports, which is not enough. I have adapters and everything, but then you work with dongles and everything, and that's not so convenient. The next question is, do I need it? Do I really need this laptop? Maybe not. Yes and no. Because if I would have factory resetted my MacBook Air, maybe the artifacts would have gone, but maybe not. I didn't try, didn't want to. I wanted to try the new MacBook Pro, to be honest. Will it be a good investment? Time will show. The thing is that I'm selling coachings and I'm selling high ticket coaching. So if I sell one coaching more, because I made a video more because of this laptop, it will have paid itself. That's just it. I do only need to sell one more product, one more mentoring, one more coaching because of this laptop and it would have paid itself. Should you get one? Should you get a MacBook M3 Max for... 3440 euros in comparison to this one which was 955 euros like two years ago roughly well i think that if you have anything less for portability now we're talking about laptops not desktop computers and you want to work while traveling or outside, in the park, wherever, outside, and you have anything less than a M1 MacBook, then I think the upgrade to a newer model would be definitely worth it. As a content creator 
who does a lot of photo editing. I do photo shootings with my clients. I do video production work for myself and for clients as well. So I need and want to have a good laptop, which is able to save me some time. So that's why I'm making this upgrade. And maybe if you are in the same shoes as I am, then yes, this might be an update that's worth it. The next point is that if you are working somewhere, for example, in a co-working space and your computer is always the last one to boot, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. You will feel some kind of resentment that I talked about. Maybe not. Maybe you're just not the type to be sensitive to those kind of things. But I, for myself, I very quickly cultivate those kind of blockades where I just get those mental blocks where I cannot get over it to produce more, to do more content. And that's the point where every single kind of update is simply worth it for you to be able to work. Because if I do not want or feel like I cannot produce a video right now because I will have friction when editing or problems or whatever, I'm not doing it. So everything that I can do that's in my power to empower myself to make more content, I have to do. The point that I want to make is very simple. If you have the money and you can treat it as an investment, because this laptop for me is just an investment. If I make more sales because of that laptop, that I would not have done what I, or would not have made with this laptop, the old one, then it's a good investment and it will pay for itself. And it's just that easy. My reasons before buying... I thought, okay, well, maybe <laughs> the reasons are not that well thought through. Maybe it's not worth the investment. Time will show. I will keep you updated here on this channel. So if you want to see how I work with this laptop, if it's worth it, you are going to see it in the next time by the amount of videos that I'm going to put out. So please subscribe to the channel and have a good day. See you in the next one. Peace.